Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Steven Sunday from Greatest Design Consult, a leading name in construction project management. Today, we'll be talking about the Plan Swift template. You must have seen our Plan Swift template advertisement on social media platforms from our YouTube, Twitter handle, and also Facebook handle. So, what exactly does our Plan Swift template do? And what exactly is Plan Swift for those who don't even know what Plan Swift is? So basically, Plan Swift is a popular construction takeoff and estimating software that allows users to create digital blueprints, perform measurements, and generate estimates for construction projects. Our Plan Swift template offers a range of benefits making the estimating process more efficient and accurate. Here are some of the advantages and functionalities of using our templates in Plan Swift. The first in our list is predefined items and measurement. Our template comes with pre-built items and measurements commonly used in construction projects. A second in our list is formula calculation. Our templates often include predefined formulas for calculating quantities, costs, and other parameters based on the measurements you input. And then we have customization. While our templates offer standard items, they can be customized to fit the specific needs of your project. You can add, modify, or remove items to match the unique requirements of your construction job. Also, we have sectional estimation. Our templates are designed to break down the project into sections or trade. This allows you to estimate each section individually, streamlining your workflow and reducing the need to recalculate common items. And also we have error reduction. By relying on our templates, you reduce the risk of manual errors in calculations. This enhances the overall accuracy of your estimate and prevents costly mistakes during construction. And the last on our list is time saving. Our templates can significantly reduce the time spent on repetitive tasks. Instead of starting from scratch for each project, you can use pre-built templates that can already contain common items and measurements, allowing you to jumpstart your estimation process. So let's say you get our template. The first thing you're going to do when you get this template is to right click over here, open file location, and then you click on data. You go to storages, you go to local, template, and then you paste it here. Our template includes the building work, the civil engineering work, and the heavy engineering. Okay, so let's jump into our plan swift to show you what our template will do for you. All right, so. Three, four, building, next, you check. Okay. All right, so. Let's go straight to our drawings to show you exactly what our templates can do for you. So first of all, let me just show you our template here. This is just for the building works. You can decide to add your our civil engineering works or the heaven engineering works. The template comes with all of them, but for this, we're using building works and then you open the substructure since we are doing the substructure over here and then let's go to site clearance all right so 
Okay, so first of all, we are supposed to scale this page because the page is not set to scale. All right, so we can... Let me show you how to scale the page, just in case you don't know how to scale the page. All right, so... Okay, so you see from here to here is 4.23. So you can just click on scale over here and then let's put in 4.23, which is in meters. You can decide to apply to all pages. All right. So let's see. You see 4.23. Okay, so now we are good to go. Let's begin our site clearance. So you click on that and then we begin. So let me just zoom out a bit. Let me zoom out totally. Okay, zoom out. So let's just take this quickly. All right, so for site clearance, you can just come over here, though you might need to zoom properly. Okay. Then all right. Yes, see. So you see automatically it's showing you that we already have 350.4 square meters. Instead of you using manual measurement, it gives you what you want to do. It gives you the good results. You could see site clearance is 350.4 or two square meter so let's again you can just click on this to remove it and then let's go again and just calculate for trench excavation so you click here and then as i said you click on this button so first thing you're going to do for this is that you're going to um, impute uh the width the width here already is 690, which is 0 0.69 meters. And then the depth is 1.5, 1,500, which we are going to input is 1.5 meters. And then, so let's assume for time's sake, let's assume we're going to excavate from here down to here, down to here. Okay, so for that, we're just going to do this like this. Okay, let's... Okay, so just assuming we're excavating all of this portion. Okay, so with this, we're done. All right, so once you do this, you're already done with your excavation. Once you click here, you're already seeing everything here. Your back filling, it has solved it for you. Your disposal. Has already solved everything for you here. Disposal, backfilling, level and compacting, blinding and trenches, concrete footing, earthwork support. So you could see that this is exactly what this template can do for you. Instead of you going and you 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 calculate for excavation. I mean, when you calculate for trench, you go back and calculate for disposal. You calculate again for backfilling. It's already, it has already done all of these things for you. All you have to do is just to pick up these figures and input into your bill of quantity. Okay, so thank you so much.